Hi, I'm Nick Rummel with Caterpillar Preventive Maintenance. Today we're going to look at a System 1 undercarriage equipped machine. And I'm going to give you a few highlights and pointers to look for while you're looking at the undercarriage. Now on a System 1 machine, the bulk of the weight is carried by the rollers. So we don't see as near as much idler wear on a System 1 machine as we would on a conventional track machine. But it's still, we need to look at this idler not only for wear here, but we also need to look at the fasteners, make sure the fasteners are in place and that we aren't leaking any oil. Down here on the rollers, we especially need to check them for wear as well. Now we can look in here on this one, the rest of them we'll have to see from below. We also want to make sure that all of our hardware is in place and intact. This is also a good time to look at our recoil seal, make sure we don't have any oil leaks. This is a brand new machine, it's still got a little uh, uh, shipping oil on it yet. While we're looking at the undercarriage, we also need to look at the track pads. Not only the height of the grouser, but also the leading edge and trailing edge of the track pad. We also need to look at our link wear. It should wear pretty flat across. We just need to keep in mind what that height is and how much is worn off. Moving on back, we need to make sure we look at our carrier roller. Now our carrier roller needs to be adjusted so that it's running in the center of the track. That's pretty easy to do. All we gotta do is, is run this machine and, and see where it's running, uh, where the wear marks are on the carrier roller, and we can adjust it in and out from there. We always wanna look for cracks in all undercarriage, especially in the undercarriage roller frame. Uh, anywhere along the frame could be a crack. Back here by the pivot, uh, pivot shaft is another point where it could crack. And as we're looking at the rails themselves, we always want to look at the rails, see how flat they are, and see if there's any indentation. Typically, they're going to wear more towards the middle of the rail instead of the ends. We also want to take a look at the sprocket segment. Now, System 1 doesn't wear sprocket segments as quickly as conventional track does, but it's still a good idea to look at your sprocket segments for wear. Also, look at the hardware and make sure that that hardware is in place and tight. As we move on back and we get to the rear idler, there is one other thing I'd like to point out. There's a shim back here on this idler. Now, this shim needs to be removed when you reach about 50% link and roller wear. So your PSSR, or parts and service sales representative from your local cat dealer can help you with that and tell you when that wear occurs. But for fine dozing, we need to remove these shims so that we're not riding only on the idlers, but the load of the machine is carried on the track rollers as well. For more information, please contact your local cat dealer.